That's awesome. And now it's gonna be open. Oh my god. That's ridiculous. I would have rather like died and then have re have it reload down there and then kill myself again and like I, I don't know. Just you know kill myself you know, rather than fucking run down all of those steps. I mean, there's the ramp. It's like Jesus Christ. I mean, why can't they just have a slide? You know. Oh yeah, that whole look. That's exactly like in Twilight Princess. Seal Temple. We're in the first temple. Yay! On the first temple. Yeah. Let's do it. Let's pick some butt. But I mean, when they talk about the temple, I'm thinking they talk more about more like the lava area. Or it's actually more like a temple and not just this place where you like worship and crap, because that's not a temple. I hope that's not what I think it is. Oh, uh, it's a piece of hair. The traveler descended from the clouds above. Oh, look at me, child of fate. Oh, is that the same one who's talking to me down there with like the stone? Oh. <laughs> Reminds me of. You must gain an epiphany, Homer Simpson. <laughs> The whole thing with, you know, Homer Simpson. Talk about our boots. Scout Strike is yours to command. It is proof that you're fit to bear the blade. You carry the goddess sword. I have sat here for many years waiting for you to arrive. Also, I could fulfill my purpose as your guide. Nice. Now I have, like, three guides. You know? You stand on the roof of the sealed temple, a place built by the goddess, and eternity ago. Your brother here was predestined many, many, a, a lot of years ago. The spirit made in your secret right here shortly before you, descending his land in a shower of light. There's no doubting it. It's it's a hundred percent proven. The gears of fate have begun to turn. It's a metaphor, I do that. The spirit maiden was not meant to be re meant to reach this land in the manner she did. I feel an evil power working in the shadows. It moves to warp the destiny of which you two are apart. Shouldn't that be one word apart? I don't know. A part, I guess. Mm -hmm. Sometimes, like, something could actually be, you know. You could serve this beard, maybe you would take her whereabouts. Yes? That is understandable, but for now, you must focus on moving forward. The girl has her own purpose. She must pursue, as you do. As do you. The far on woods to discover that the destiny for herself, and you must follow. Okay, show me your map. Show me your map. The X upon your map marks. Okay, far on woods, nice. You'll be traveling in unfamiliar land. Many monsters have settled here. The map may not prove guidance enough for your journey. Okay, seriously, Indians are not monsters. They're just people like you and me, and they have all the right in the world to keep their land. And so I'll give you the power to create beacons. When a beacon is marked on your map, a column of light will stand at that location. It will act as your waypoint from afar. Point at the X and press C to place a beacon. That's cool. So now I'll just be able to look at it. Oh, time zero. I have a... You have zero beacons left. Though well, you cannot see it from where we are. A beacon outside. A beacon stands outside to guide you. Leave the temple through the front doors and see for yourself. When you no longer have a use for a beacon, you move it from your map to press and see. Use your beacons well and you'll never be getting lost. Go on, you must head on the following woods and chase up the spirit maiden, the one who calls out. Yep. Take the contents of the treasure chest within this room. Then there should prove useful. Okay, I hope it's like a slingshot or something. Hair's kind of weird. Um, yeah. Might want to fix that. Ah. <laughs> I hope you heard that. You are ready to leave. Leave the door before you and head into the woods. I wish you safe travel. Safe travel, law? No, the, all the questions you have now will be answered in time for an opponent. Go bravely. Yeah, wait, where's the treasure chest? Where is the treasure chest? What's in here? Oh, that looks interesting. Hmm? Hmm? Does it not look interesting? No, it doesn't. No, probably doesn't. No. Not interesting. Yeah, come on. There you go. Oh, here, I think this might be a treasure chest. Is it, don't tell me it's rupees. Unless this isn't... Wait, did I say something? They give you two bottles? Like, they... Oh my god. That probably might not be optional. Wait, wait, what does it do? Wait, revitalizing potion. What does it do? Like, you know, I don't know. I don't, do I even care? No, it turns out I don't. 
So, um, where's this other real treasure chest you were talking about? Is this it? No, this is a little hole in the ground. Maybe that was it. I mean, I got another bottle, so I mean, to be honest, it's like, hey, that's pretty cool. I like other bottles. You know, bottles are great. So, yeah, I mean, I guess that's it. It just seems so concealed. It's just over here. And just, I hate the camera. Why is it doing that? Were those the front doors or were these the front doors? Oh my god, oh my god, which one's the front doors? Mr. Krabs! Mr. Krabs! There's no way of getting out! Mr. Krabs! Where's the door? <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Is this the Far Woods? Are we going to the Far Woods now? The beacon? Where's the beacon? I don't see it. There's the beacon. I see it now. I think I see it. I think I see it. It's blue. It's blue. That's blue. I... If my eyes do not deceive me, and if I'm not colorblind, that is blue. Dude, camera, can you please move up? Like, seriously, can you, like that, like that's what- Oh, nice! Let's kiss some butt! Stupid retards! Oh, go on, man! Out of the way! Scram! Yeah, I'm gonna kick your butts! Dude, they're so fast, man. Dude, man, this is intense. They, they move back and forth a little bit. Like, a little bit too much, in my opinion. I don't know. It just slows down combat, in my opinion, because they go back and forth so much. Okay, they're all dead. I killed them for you. Woo! Thanks for jumping in and rescue me, bud. You're welcome. I was going to give me a bomb bag and all that crap. Just who were those red pests? And I expect them to run a pack of them in this peaceful forest. Same goes for you. This is the second time I bumped into one of your kind today. I tell you, all sorts of weird things are going on lately. Like, I have the big times of preparing those guys. Let me tell you something fascinating. What? Tell me something amazing. Hey. I'm Gorko the Golan. I am researching the ancient history of these woods here. According to the ancient text, there is some kind of a place above the sky called the Isle of Goddess, far up in the sky. Apparently, these old statues serve as landmarks for those traveling up to the sky or down in... Oh, nice! If I want to be sure to examine and keep tabs on the number of landmarks, they are rumored to be quite useful. Supposedly, this statue is special, and it is said to have the ability to activate all the other statues. Mm. The whole thing sounds a little crazy, I know, but for I believe it's true. Otherwise, why will these statues be here all over the place? It is a real hard scratcher. Head. Oh, God. Okay, head scratcher. Makes you want to know more, does it not? Yeah, totally. Mm hmm Better brace yourself, because I'm about to blow your mind! So get this! People actually live on the skyline, and they get around by flying on the backs of huge birds that are way bigger than the birds down here. Up there, everyone re reveres, reveres, reveres the goddess, like Paul Revere, reveres the goddess, and residents of all the islands in the sky live a perfect society, totally free of conflict or unhappiness. Not only that, from what I can tell, their civilization is way, way more advanced than ours is down here. That is a very contradicting statement. Okay, you cannot have, you know, peaceful total happiness with, you know, being super intelligent. Possibly, I mean, it's very, I mean, conflict creates our minds to think, and after generation and generation, we get dumber and dumber because all of our problems are solved. I just want to let you know that. It is a conflict that makes us smarter. I mean, although, you know, we're solving some things, we're still getting more conflict, but we're becoming smarter, you know? So, I mean, it's just, it's very difficult to obtain both, you know? Just want you to know that, guys. That's a little lesson of my day. That's my little preaching thing. I just, that's, that's what I believe. I believe that it's like, it cannot coexist like that, you know? Just not that simply. It may be medium, but it just can't be both up there, you know? It's clearly impossible. Yeah. The place was crafted by the goddess herself. So it figures that it's filled with words and wonders we do not have there. <laughs> The buildings are made of gold and endless spring mystical waterfalls. Yeah, so. I guess, like, up in the skies, like America, you know, they're like the Europeans. <laughs> Stupid Europeans! What idiots! The trees are heavy with pump flu that cures all disease! Oh, that reminds me a lot of what I was talking about. I was talking about the Time Machine novel by H.G. Wells. And they're talking about, like, you know, fruit that cures all disease. The fields are crowded with pumpkins that never rot. I was like, wow, that's boom, everywhere. And the weather! Oh, the weather, bud! Yeah, there's like huge tornadoes that take you down and you're like, you gotta go on these quests and it's kind of stupid. 
That is the Isle of the Gods. Amazing, right? Wrong. It's beyond amazing. You want to hear more about it, don't you, bud? Uh, I don't know if I want to because I already kind of... I know you're going to just be completely, you know, bullshitting this. As I'm up to you, I'll give you the latest info. Okay. Thanks for sharing, buddy. You know, we had some trifling and some very inquiries of intelligence. Inquiries of intelligence. Very nice. What in the world has happened? Did you just have come out of the... How crazy is that? <laughs> Farts are pretty crazy. Save. Oh, nice. Like, you can even do to the sky, save, cancel. That's pretty cool, though. See, I mean, no, okay, that's the same thing. Duh. Duh! What? I have to examine the statue further, bud. Who knows what I might find out. Okay. So, see you later, dude. Um, we had some cool combos. I'm gonna go ahead and... Oh, wow, we're already here. Maybe there is some gold at the end of the rainbow. How do I get up? Oh, we move it. That's cool. I guess. I mean, that's kind of dumb. To move it up and down. I don't know. Just... That's ridiculous. Okay, so I'm there. No, no, nothing. So now we can go ahead and remove it. Let's see. Yay! <gasps> the Starline Woods. Here we go, guys. This is it. This is what you've all been waiting for. The moment of truth. The Farron Woods. Esther, you've entered the Farron Woods. Yeah, this is what they show in the whole demos and everything. The Farron Woods. They're far on woods. Plentiful water in this region clearly sustains a large diversity of flora, including this massive tree. It is logical that lush plant life and water resources have attracted animal species to the region. Wow, okay, now that was actually pretty fast. Like, I'm concerned because this is such a small map. Yep, and then they turn it and I don't even know how you do that. Looking at the probabilities, it is extremely likely that Zelda is somewhere in the area. It turns out she's not. I recommend you continue your dowsing ability to search for her. One, she's not. Two, it's gonna be like she is, but we're not gonna do it. Yeah, she's like right in this pit. Oh my god, do not tell me. We're gonna have to swing on swords, I mean, on vines, and all this crazy stuff. Look at this. Look at this. Do they really expect me to do this? Okay, I swing. Oh, I do that? Like, I actually move it back and forth? I, I don't know, I gotta get the mechanics of this. Dude, I gotta get the mechanics of it. Jeez, you don't have to be so mean. Like, how far do they want me to... Yeah, I would just do that. Just keep it forward, like that, you know? There's no reason not to. Oh, not more of these guys. I get how you're supposed to move past these, like... Do diagonally, I guess. I don't know. It's just weird. Oh, it's a Deku Scrub! Oh, it's scared! Oh, God damn it! You stupid little bitch! Why did you do that? Why did you think, okay, now you turn. Now you do that. What the hell? Oh, it's just too, it's just, in my opinion, it's too more, it's too much troublesome. Overall, I mean, as of now, it's just too much. Do I talk to you? You're kind of like this weird beast. Oh, whoa! That is cool. How, how'd you get in your nose? Like, flaccid. Huh? It's gone quiet. Key Kui Ku. No, it's green one. I didn't even know they came in green. Don't hurt me, Ku Weep. Uh. Well, that's weird. It's like quicksand. Master, I picked up a highly interesting spike in the dowsing reading from the creature you just encountered. I thought it was really? Something Yes, Master. Based on the creature's characteristics, I must include that it is a peaceful, 
What was the only animal known as a key flea? Key fleas are intelligent being capable of speech. However, such a creature could obviously not be confused with Zelda. It is unclear why such a creature would elicit a dousing response to an attuned to Zelda. You should follow the creature and investigate this phenomenon. Oh, that's where I go. Oh, I, I had forgotten where it came, where it went. You know, I just, I had no idea. I'm, I'm glad you showed me that, so otherwise, otherwise I would have been totally lost. I just had no clue where to go, you know. It was real nice. Thanks, you know. Thanks to you guys. So apparently, yeah, I told you Zelda wasn't going to be there. I told you. Oh, it's got Zelda inside that thing. <laughs> it's like she's in there the whole time. Trick is you gotta sneak up on him. What? Do you wanna tell me now? Can I just play the game? Do you have to interrupt me all the time? Do you really think it's necessary? Huh? Do you really wanna do this right now? Do you really wanna go? Huh? God. Advice and hints. Okay, I knew that. I knew that. Honestly. Okay, fine. You know, it sprinkles this light and it kind of... Wow, that thing up. Dude, I swung my sword. Oh my god. So much pressure. Let's be really quiet. Really quiet. Oh, that's pretty cool. Oh yeah, I remember it does the whole like that, yeah. So it's like it goes around a mushroom. It's basically what it does. It just stays behind it. So whenever you slice the mushroom, it's hiding behind. It's like, oh god, how do you you know? It's basically you know, it's the whole gist of it all. So which one is behind now? Behind the one back here. Ah, uh, my nose itches. No, put, you can put your shield down. Which one is it behind? Or where is it? Oh, I thought I thought that was it. <laughs> I'm like, it's just sitting there. I got it. I heard it. Oh, hey, what's up? Oh, okay. How you doing? Sorry for the whole, like, things, like, moments of commentary, because I have no idea what to say. It spotted me again. Quee! 